Hello viewers, Alistair Durham Reviews here and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, I know, but uh, there we are. So uh, in this video, join me as I review the Boardman SLR 8.9. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Not gonna lie, I did forget the intro. <laughs> so uh, it's been that long since I've actually reviewed anything on this channel, I do apologize. Uh, last time I actually uploaded was start of this year, 2023. Yeah, I've just been busy with other channels, as you can see here. My main one, it's your boy Ali007, Alistair Dharma Doors. This one, and my new channel, uh, Simulation Ali007, all on one top. and. Body the subscribe and all that on the back. Also got some new shoes, which there. It's coming out of the video on my main channel, so keep up for that one. So, without further ado, this bike here, the Boardman SLR 8.9. Um, basically, it's a full road bike. Um, if you're keeping up with my other channels, especially my main one, I'm doing Land's End on the Groats next year from 1st of June for two weeks, uh, average of 80 miles a day basically for two weeks. So I do have another road bike, the Genesis Quadifer Sand Edition. Um, that's not going to cut it unfortunately because it's heavy. That's carbon, or C7 carbon. We'll go over all the bike in a sec. So this bike is extremely light. I can pick it up with my middle finger. That's how light it is, even with the I'll review this in the next video, the IGPS Sports um, computer and the sensor, the cadence sensor on the other side. So basically what I'll do, take off, the can take off this stand and we'll go over it. So this bike here, the wheels are rim brakes to save a little bit of weight. Um, the forks, proper road bike forks, as you can see there. The wheels are extremely thin for basically less friction on the road, so you can go a little bit faster. Uh, rim brakes, they can be effective, but I do prefer disc brakes as they're a little bit more effective and um, I just prefer them on bikes. So the brakes here are Tektro, uh, Shimano Tektro, and they are the handles are Shimano 105s, both of them, as you can see there. So all the cables that's in the bike are in the actual frame itself, as you can see there. That goes out and comes out without touching the chain just down there. Um, and there's also one there that probably goes in there, then all the way up for... There is another one there. One there. And that's it. So there's one hole there, one hole there, and another hole the other side. Um, hole there for that for the um, front gears. That one there for the rear gears. Um, with this chair, there is actually one here. If I can show you, turn around the bike. Now look, there is one there that goes probably to the other end over there for the rear brakes which i quite like so keep oh my god without dropping the actual bike if i move it a sec there we go so it actually keeps the bike nice and formal you haven't got any chain uh no chain any flapping of the wires which is quite nice obviously you got a little bit of the front which are quite you know they're not exactly going to go anywhere so with the um, gears, it's FSA, um, so it says there, uh, Grossama, Grossama, Grossama FSA. So this is a 50 by 34 tooth. Even in low gear, which is this here, this is a quite low gear. It's actually geared quite high because this is a proper racing bike. It's meant to go... Well, I say racing bike. It's a road bike built for speed, basically. 
Boardman uh, clip-in pedals, as you can see there. They're a little bit cheaper than Shimano, which I've got on both the bikes in there. Um, basically, exactly the same principle as all clip-in shoes and clip-in pedals. Um, those cost me 34 and the Shimano ones are 60 quid in Halfords. This is where I got the bike Halfords, 1,200 brand new. Um, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good bike. Uh, so it says here, C7 carbon, uh, Boardman medium height. So it says recommended for height 177 cm to 183 cm. Inside leg 78 cm to 85 cm. For further information on sizing and uh, fit, please visit www.boardmanbikes.com. So there we go. Um, rear gears, like I said, quite high gears. So you've got to really have quite strong legs to use this bike properly. As it, mine aren't exactly the strongest of legs, but there we are. A little bit dirty as I have ridden it already. That came unfortunately with with it a scratch on there, annoying. But there we are. Made in Britain, developed uh, with Chris Boardman, MBE. There we are. So like I said, it's quite light bike. Uh, handlebars are Boardman itself, and the stem is FSA. Talk to 5.7 newton meters um, seat quite quite comfy seat to be fair I don't wear um, cycling clothes at the minute and even without cycling clothes it's quite comfy which is nice to have a road bike with a comfy seat is actually quite unheard of for me anyway so Boardman with the um, other bike I've got the Genesis is not exactly a very comfortable seat not gonna lie so, real, the wheels, shall I say, both of them are quick release. Saves a um, little bit of weight. So if I just go around there like that, as you can see, quick release on the back as well. The rear derailleur Shimano 105 that keeps up with the Shimano 105 levers, which I've shown you earlier on in the video. Um... All I've got on there really, even with the little bit of weight, is back lights, front lights, like I said earlier, the um, computer. Bear with me guys. Sorry about that. It's okay. Um, which we'll review in the next video is tape, well, uh, what's it called? Clips there. So that's basically it. Um, it is a through, so you can see it through there. So that saves weight as well on the arms here. There is a gap all the way up here, look, saves weight as well. This is the sensor, for the Caden sensor, which we'll review in the next video. And the wires, as you can see here, go through this little bit here. So uh, that's pretty much it. What we'll do, it, there is actually one thing, the tyres, which I must admit, the tyres are uh, Zitora, sorry, Vitora Zafio Pro Graphite 2.0, 700 by 25C, um, bar to, from 6.9 bar to... 8.7 I think that is uh, so 130 psi on there the back tires or well, the back tire shall I say is not the grippiest so I'm actually going to change these out for a little bit more um, all-weather tires because these here in the wet they're not exactly very grippy you've got a little bit of grip here there there all the way around but it's not sufficient to be on the slippery surfaces so they're not exactly the best tyres, unfortunately. So you can get new tyres on uh, chain reaction cycles, which I'll get mine from. I think you can get them from like 20 quid. Um, but for dry surfaces, yeah, it's not too bad. Obviously, these are the only road tyres that I've had. 
Um, the Genesis is a um, gravel bike, so these are the thinnest tires I've ever ridden with. The rims are actually Boardman SLR, so the same brand as the bike itself. So uh, the seat post is Boardman, and how you cl uh, clamp it is this little gizmo here. So as you tighten it, that goes that way, I believe. So uh, yeah, saves weight again, saves with a great big clamp on it, which saves a little bit of weight, but overall, all of the little bits and pieces, so rim brakes, um, basically all add up to a big saving of weight. That's the aim here of saving weight. And I will show you now how light this bike is. I've got the bike here, one hand, so you can see, other hands here. That's how light the bike is. Well, it's not 100% light because obviously I've got all the everything on it, but I can lift it up with one finger without breaking my finger. <laughs> so, uh, uh, one other thing which I'll show you also, I'll bring the bike this way. There is clamps here so um, the tape doesn't flap around everywhere and the little clamp doesn't come out like the one on my uh, Genesis where it's a little clamp where it just shoves in, stops it, stops the tape from basically coming out. That there bolts in so it definitely doesn't come out. So um, that's basically a review of the Boardman SLR 8.9. Um, must admit I've ridden 10 miles with it. There is a noise coming from the back of the bike. It's like a vibration noise when I get up to speed is I don't know I don't know what it is but except from that the bike is absolutely amazing on the tires as well so one thing to make sure of if you do want to purchase this bike is consider buying all-terrain road tire road tires for the bike as I am going to this is my first proper road bike so obviously learning from experience and all so uh that's basically it so just little things to be aware of basically for, for this bike but stuff from that it's really good bike it rides really well really quick bike so um next year we'll do a vlog of the bike and uh going up to from Land's End on a groat so that'll be fun that'll be probably on my outdoors channel so uh stay tuned for that one so if you have any questions about this bike let me know down in the comments and i'll try to answer it for you um like as like i said i've had quite a few bikes now this is this is my first ever road bike so uh, just ask for advice if you need any and i'll try to give you a, a my a best opinion um so uh yes yeah, so thanks for watching if you like what i'm doing smash that like button if you're new to the channel, punch the subscribe button. Um, and uh, cheers for watching. I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.